Louisville, Kentucky City Council now plans to investigate how the mayor responded to the deadly police shooting of Breonna Taylor. Taylor was killed back in March in what her family calls a botched police raid. It added fuel to the worldwide protest against police brutality in this country. And one of the three officers involved has since been fired, but no criminal charges have been filed against him. That officer is appealing his firing, saying it was unjustified. Last week, we spoke with Breonna Taylor's mother, Tamika Palmer, who has now filed a wrongful death lawsuit. She was in tears talking about the support that she's received. What would be most helpful to you at this time? To continue to say her name, to, um, like I said, we're still just in the beginning. There's still so much work to be done. So just please continue to say her name. Please continue to march and, and demand justice. Just Louisville Mayor Greg Fisher joins us now to discuss the Breonna Taylor case. He says that he will work to implement police reform in his new role as president of the U.S. Conference of Mayors. This is an interview that you'll see only on CBS This Morning. And Mayor Fisher, we thank you for joining us today. You've got a lot going on, a lot to discuss. Let's start with the Breonna Taylor case. So one officer has been fired. Two others have not been fired. Are you satisfied where things stand in that case right now? Well, good morning, Gail. Thanks for having me. The guiding principle throughout Breonna Taylor's tragedy has been get to the truth, get to the truth. I've asked the attorney general, the FBI, the U.S. attorney to be involved to make sure that no matter what the outcome, the truth comes out. So where the case is right now is with the attorney general, uh, Daniel Cameron. He will be deciding if any criminal charges will be filed on this case. In the meantime, we're not waiting for improvements. Uh, I signed Brianna's law into law a couple weeks ago. That bans the use of no-knock warrants here in Louisville. It also requires body cameras be used on all search warrants. So we're not waiting. Anytime we have an improvement opportunity, we swing into that. Uh, that's what the U.S. Conference of Mayors will be do doing also as we look at broader police reform around the country. Mm -hmm. You're right. We all want the truth. You're absolutely right about that. And one officer has been fired. And I think Breonna Taylor's mother and people who are very uh, upset about her death want the other two officers to be fired. What do you think? I know we're all looking into the thing, right. but you are the mayor of the city. Your opinion matters. Well, the, what's important is the truth, and that's why all these different agencies are looking at this. Um, I'm actually preclu precluded by state law, believe it or not, which I would really like to see changed, KRS mm -hmm. 67C, from commenting further on this case while it's investigation. But that's why you want the FBI and you want the attorney general and you want the U.S. attorney. And now it's with the attorney general here in the state of K Kentucky to determine what the next steps are going to be. What was your personal reaction when you first heard about the circumstances of Breonna Taylor's death? What did you think about the actions of your police department? Well, I'm, you're distraught. I mean, I have kids uh, that are about the age, not kids, but young adults uh, about the same age as Breonna Taylor. And, and you put yourself in the position of Breonna's mom and just say, you know, how would you react to something like that? And it's just a pit in your stomach. And they say, how do you move through these tragedies then as a city to improve, try to make sure something like this never happens again? It's the nature of a mayor's job that you occasionally have tragedy and then you have to move forward and try to bring your community with you at the same time. So it's certainly something that we're extraordinarily sorry about. Yeah, a lot of people feel that way, Mr. Mayor. Yeah. We're, a lot of people also wonder why it took 110 days for the city to take any action. And it was only after there were national protests following the death of George Floyd. Can you talk about why it yeah, took so long before there was any action in the case? Absolutely. I mean, Louisville has been a leader in the release of body camera evidence after, when there's an officer-involved shooting, and that's one of the real problems or challenges with this case is there is no body camera footage. These were undercover narcotics officers executing a search warrant. Uh, since then, I've changed that policy. So unlike some of the other cases that we see around the country, there's no direct evidence of what's happened. So that's when a public integrity unit investigation takes place. Those typically last two to six months. Uh, probably about, what, 60, 70 days into this case is when action started being taken in terms of what the facts were that we knew that were coming out in terms of improvement in the community. But the fundamental lack of body cameras has been the big stumbling block in this case.
Yeah, you know, we, we mentioned congratulations on your new position because you're now head of the U.S. Conference of Mayors. What do you all think is the number one thing that can be done to reduce these deadly encounters with the police department, especially as it pertains to the black community? Yeah, I mean, this is a time of real potential transformation for our country, I hope. When you've got a, a pandemic, we've got an economic recession, and we've got marches for racial justice taking place, uh, there is no question that the climate is ripe for serious change in all types of societal issues, and police reform is absolutely one of those. The police have got to decide to be part of that. I know good cops definitely want to as well. Uh, sanctity of life has always got to be the number one issue. De-escalation has got to be a guiding principle uh, for all of these as well. And then the community has to see itself as part of cooperating to build safety in a community with trust in the police department. So there's no question that there's a lot of challenges that need to, uh, that need to be addressed. Uh, mayors are uniquely situated mm -hmm. in, the, in the country to be able to take a lot of these issues on. And I can tell you mayors exactly. are leaning into that right now. Police reform and racial justice is one of our top uh, priorities as we head into this new year. Well, Mayor, it seems like a tough time for you. I'm thinking if, you're, if you feel like you're wearing gasoline underpants because you've got the police <laughs> department on one hand demanding your resignation. They say they feel underappreciated, unsupported. Then you have the police reform protesters who are saying you're not doing enough. Both sides are calling for your resignation. How are you navigating this process for yourself, standing in the upright position? Well, I mean, it's, that's kind of the, the nature of being a mayor in America today. And unfortunately, this has happened or, un all over America right now. That's, that's why the conditions are ripe for transformation. So we have not been in a place like this in America now for about 50 years or so. So the question is, will we get it right this time? I think the conditions are ripe, and I'm hopeful that it will. When you look at addressing some of the underlying challenges that America has right now in terms of the wealth and income gap that we have, now is the time where we need to change the minimum wage to a living wage. Now is the time when we need to mm -hmm. develop and prepare reparations proposals for African Americans to address this wealth gap in our country. So. Now is the time, too, to re recover from the COVID Act so we get direct federal funding so city budgets yeah. can stay healthy to provide basic services. So the nature of a mayor's job is uh, right. handling difficulty, turning that into hope and action so your citizens uh, can be in a better place. And that's what the mayors of America are going to do. Well, Mayor Fisher, you got a lot to do. And as you said, everybody wants to get it right. But also people believe now is the time for change. Thank you, sir, for your time this Absolutely. morning. Absolutely.